Alright, looks like it just reconnected. Might drop a couple of frames for a sec as we're still doing a speed test. But yeah, internet didn't even blink. It was just uh, OBS disconnected. Maybe it was Twitch. Lolilo, thank you very much for the Prime sub. Much appreciated. Thank you. Well, that eases the... Uh, that definitely eases the pain of dropping out of the stream. Thank you very much. Oh my goodness. Uh, thank you very much as well for the five gifted subs. Wow. Uh, Whiskers, Darudi, Matrim, Glacier Wolf, RF Holloway. Hope you enjoy it. Thank you very, very much. Well, that really helps put the disconnection behind. Oh my goodness. Uh, Putrid One, thank you very much for the two months with Prime. Very much appreciated also. Thank you so much. Madeira, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, yeah, thank you all very, very much. Very much appreciated. Alright, so... Let's attempt to recover our train of thought, I suppose. Uh, rampant biters got into your router. <laughs> the thing is, the internet connection was fine. I checked. Uh, we were still connected. I did a speed test. There wasn't the slightest bit of uh, up or downstream lost. Um, the moment OBS reconnected, the bitrate was up back up to maximum. Fraser K, good to see you again. Oh, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Okay, can we start making something like a normal early game Factorio base? Or, oh wait, I should go deliver those um, uh, green data cards so we can get cliff explosives. Don't forget sentinels. Yeah, we got some sentinels. Let's do... Let's do one right about here. Nice zoo. And I think those wires are already there. No, they're not. Um, I don't really have the... Malapoles at the moment. This should be fine, though. Oh, free drills. I don't have any more power poles. I kind of do. What's behind the lake on the northwest? How far does your pollution cloud extend? Uh, kind of far now. Uh, Stereo Clex, thank you very much for the Prime sub as well. Very much appreciated, thank you. Y'all are starting a hype train. That'd be like the second time it's happened on this channel. You were talking about automated research, then a revised base, yes. Uh, Hughes Mike, thank you very much for the five gifted subs as well. Lolio, thank you for another. I can't even see how many gifted subs. Is that five, I guess? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. No, that, that's a tenor. Uh, Hughes Mike, Lolio, thank you very, very much for the gifted subs. Much appreciated. Wow. I'm feeling a little overwhelmed, to be honest. Moving up in the streaming world? I mean, yeah, a little bit. Thank you, guys. Thank you so much. 
Uh, I've completely lost my train of thought. What was I? Oh yeah, yeah, the green data cards. Remind yourself that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. Yes, indeed. Okay, we need to move these data cards. Praising? What about praising? If there was phrasing there, I missed it. Uh, this is only 135. That's enough to get not cliff explosives. Are we stalled on making green cards? No, they're just slow. We can... we can help that. Let's grab some iron. Does everybody have a sub now? Probably. Hype train lost train of thought. Yes. The hype train was derailed. I mean, not the hype train. The train of thought was derailed by the hype train. Easy dodge. Level 5? Uh, level 5, indeed. Thank you guys so much. You get a sub, you get a sub, everyone gets a sub, indeed. Uh, I forgot how many drills I was handcrafting here. Let's calm down just a little bit. How many have I got? 61, that's actually quite good. And I spill my drink. Okay. Uh, I'm going to pick up some wood, but that's okay. Actually, I don't have room for wood. Why do I have raw, rare metals in my inventory? Where did I even get those? Subs for breakfast, indeed. Hack's internet is overwhelmed by the stub subs. I'm getting stutter. I think that was just me stuttering. Okay, uh, green cards, we're trying to speed this up a bit, that's green circuits, we're not bottlenecking on that, what am I doing? Uh, these ones, and these ones, probably didn't need it over here, yeah. We definitely didn't need it for these two. Or for this one. We're very much bottlenecked on the uh, tech card machine. Raw metals probably from meteors. Uh, where do we have a meteor that I haven't picked up? I thought it was only the basic resources. Now we demand a proper base. <laughs> We're getting there. It'll happen someday. Uh, what do we have here? 133. We need 200. A bit over 200 to get cliff explosives. It's going to take a minute. Um, I also want... Wood... So we can make more greenhouses. What is Crestorio? It is a very big uh, overhaul mod, I guess. And uh, it can be combined with space exploration. The Walking Whale. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Enjoying the noodly goodness of that piece. Have you been touched by his noodly appendage? I hope you can deal with Rampant, the bugs are cracked. Yeah, they get pretty scary, but I've turned off expansion, so it's it's easier and harder. Uh, let's take a bit more wood, I think. Alright, we'll go place these... Uh, 
uh, greenhouses. You have an input output on your first lab. Uh, yeah, they were like swapping the basic tech cards from this one, that's why. I guess it's not really needed anymore. What is this machine even doing? Literally nothing? Also, that could be electric. Wait, where did... There we go. It's probably fine. Oh wait, no, we do need this to go this way. Okay. Save actually takes a split second now. Smack. And... Up we go. Oh, the wood belt is already saturated. Even though we're not even consuming it, uh, I'm a little surprised. How much wood... Oh. Uh, we haven't actually seen yet how much wood accumulates in these when it's fully saturated. Was a good train we got there? Yes, it was. Thank you very much again. Alright, um, I was going to do the stone mine, actually, and then we've got all the basic resources coming to this spot. Let's drop off this copper so my inventory is a bit lighter. Um, I might even put most of this steel in here for now. Stone. Wood. Let's go build the... Uh, I'll take that copper back, back, actually, some of it. And then we need iron. No, we need... What do we need? Glass. Because of the lamps. I'll grab some glass and then we'll make that stone mine. Are you quite finished? There we go. Glass. I wonder if you can get SE ores from K2 Matter. Uh, probably. I mean, the mods are... K K2 for SE is being deliberately made to, like, integrate well with it, hasn't it? This little bit of water is a bit awkward. Uh, that might be fine. And then we just put one of these here. Oh, I like the way that reaches. So we don't need another power pole. Alright, I won't worry about these ones just yet. And... That's... Oh, how many is this? 74. Yeah, we've only got... We've only got 60 electric mining drills. Uh, let's put some poles down. I'm sure for the moment this is going to be more than enough. Do we need that one? Yeah, we do. Not having squeak through is getting a little bit much. 
Stelloth, thank you very much for the Prime sub. Much appreciated. Thank you. Still on Nalvis? Yes, indeed. Uh, Dwight Co. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Yeah, thank you very, very much for that as well. Okay, uh... Are we ever going to need more than two belts of stone? For the scale of the base we're going to make here, I'm going to say no. And we've, we're going to have like up to four belts coming into it though. Uh, the Seeker, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, stone goes here. And thank you for the follow, oh, R Calculated. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well also. On B, good to see you again. And thank you for the follow, uh, Dwight Kong. Much appreciated. Thank you, thank you. Uh, let's get... We'll do some stone smelting here and have the regular stone go past it as well. <laughs> Slowing him down? Yeah, a little bit. Not that I need encouragement to take my time. Why don't we put the rest of these electric drills at copper while we're at it? A Zavoxifol? Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Let's go... Uh, not that one. This one. We need that one. Yes, we do. Oops. We'll do... If I do the undergrounds first or not... Yeah, no, that messes it up. But if I... If I put this underground here... And this underground here... And then drag the belt across it... It doesn't mess it up. Good to know. Um, we're eventually going to have, uh, two belts, actually. So, just like we did over here. Oh, I've run out of splitters. I like how we can have, uh, one more row without any more power bottles, actually. Here. And why is this not connected? Oh, you're kidding. Wait, what? Does that not reach? Uh, I thought that would reach for some reason. Okay, I guess we have a little bit of surgery to do here. I need to revise that blueprint. Why are you not using your quick bar? Uh, I used to put very specific things in the quick bar that I used all the time, but since, uh, since they added the pipette tool, where you just point at something and press Q, and then you've got those in your hand, uh, I've hardly ever used the quick bar since then. Oh no, one off, indeed. Um, I can still make a bunch of drills, but this is fine. 
And I was going to do it this way. Goes there, goes there, and that's gonna be a second belt eventually. Seems logical. Yeah, so now I've just got like, I don't even need the inserter thing anymore. Um, I've just got like repair packs, heals, turrets, and ammo. And I guess this is handy too. You have one free drill on your copper. Oh, so I do. Thank you. Let's get this stuff out of the way. We actually did get our research done. We can make cliff explosives. Coal, sulfur, water is still how we make explosives, and cliff explosives hasn't changed either. Fantastic. Uh, let's go... Let's go fix this first. And we'll need to run some power to it regardless. And I still haven't run the stone belt back to where it needs to go. Without cliff explosives, we're going to have to either go crisscrossing over where the copper's going to go, or way to the left. I hack switch mod can be used to move buildings without tearing them down. It is called Picker Dollies. I think I did that a little bit wrong, because now there's not going to be room, but whatever, we'll fix it later. It'll be fine. Probably. What's the worst that could happen? Uh, and I guess... I'm sure one of these is going to be overkill for stone bricks, and that's what we're going to do. Let's get some more furnaces. Uh, let's see. Uh, we need nine more at least. We can only do ten. And rather than have one stone furnace sitting in my inventory, I'll just craft precisely what we need here. Stone brick. And... Uh, I only need a splitter. Well, that's not quite true. I want two belts of stone for the main bus, and the rest to go to stone brick. So we'll do one of these. Probably. And... One, two... Three... And four. Did someone say main bus? Yes, indeed. 
we're going to be building without bots for quite a while. So it behooves us to have a decently organized bus. Let's go pick up some more belt. And iron, for that matter. Copper, get out of my inventory. Uh, that's less belt than I was expecting, but it's still plenty. We need a loader as well. Where are my inserters? Slowly being crafted. Let's go grab our automated inserter parts. Now it's like we're playing on peaceful. I haven't actually made myself any any more armor piercing rifle ammo. I don't think we're going to need it. Uh, what am I trying to do? Fly. That's not what that button... That's not the button I should be trying to press right now. Let's make more... Green data cards. We've got another 75 already. Uh, still holding plenty of glass. Don't forget the steel and stuff from all of this mess. That is way too many of those. Uh, I don't really need the rail right now. But I will refresh the steel production. It's more iron than I was expecting to find here. And... Uh, what did I come here for? Insert of parts, which we've got. We can handcraft them much more easily now. In fact, if it's going to cause a spill if I cancel all of this, but it is going relatively fast. Hmm. Maybe I should just cause a spill. Okay. Didn't actually cause a spill. Fantastic. Uh, we need automation cores and small electric motors if we really want this handcrafting to go fast. It's not too bad now. All right, long arms. And I think we've got enough long arms now. Oh, we don't actually have our stone here yet. That would help. Oops. Fantastic. I guess I could have just had stone brick 
No, this is fine. I mean, not stone break, uh, stone itself come through from here, but I don't think I want to do it that way. over here. Actually, maybe I should... If we're going to do a buffer like that, maybe I should do it before we make the stone brick. That seems good. Uh, but first we have to stop this crafting. It doesn't take much to craft the higher tier inserters from the yellow inserter. So if I can just automate that. Life will get a bit easier. Why does it... Oh, I see. There we go. Uh, I guess we can add that later. Alright, how many yellows we got? Twelve. Alright, I think our days of walking back and forth all the time are uh, nearing an end. Let's see what it would look like to do a good inserter build without too much mucking about. Uh, we only need these types of machines, right? So let's work backward from our conclusion. Yellow inserter is the goal. Everything else after that is pretty easy. Uh, we are going to need burner inserter. We are going to need single cylinder engine. We are going to need inserter parts. Uh... Automation core and small electric comes into the scene here. Automation core. Where is it? There it is. Small electric motor. Probably, I don't know if we'll do direct insertion or just have all of these things bust. How many things do automation cores, for example, go into? Let's do default search. Automation core. Oh, it has everything. Not just what we've already got unlocked. Usage. Tech card. Balloon light. Burner assembler. Inserter, crusher, electrolysis, filtration, greenhouse, mineral water pump jack, sentinel, electric lab, short balloon light. And that's just what we've unlocked so far. So I think we're going to have a bus of those. One or two belts, let's say two. It's very easy to do a bus of two belts. Uh, for most items for a smallish base, very easy to deal with uh, splitting off of it and balancing and so on. And it should be more than we need until we want to move on to something bigger, which will probably be rail blocks. Alright, so let's say we have that 
on a bus. Uh, I definitely want small electric motors on a bus as well. So probably do that and not even think about the direct insertion. Inserter parts, no doubt, are not going to be going into too many different things. Dare I say it just goes into inserters. Burner inserter, stack inserter, and it can be destroyed for no reason. Um, okay. So just burner inserter and stack inserter. That's just going to be in our block for making inserters. I definitely want to bus single cylinder engines without even looking at it. My experience from uh, SE without K2 tells me we'll be wanting that. And that just leaves iron stick and iron gear wheel. Um, iron stick probably not bust because it's very, very quick to make and it one iron plate becomes two iron stick. So the storage density of it gets worse. Uh, there's really no need to bust those. Um, iron gear wheel, if it's like vanilla, is completely the opposite. It's actually one iron plate becomes one iron gear wheel in this. Hmm. In vanilla, I always like to bus uh, iron gear wheels because they double the density. Ignoring the productivity bonuses, they double the density of the resource on the belt, and you do need lots of them. However, um, I think I probably will bus them. I think that'd be easier, if nothing else. Lots of them go into belts, of uh, splitters and stuff, of course, and belts. Yeah, I think we're going to bus iron gear wheels. Um, so that just leaves inserter parts and iron sticks to support inserter parts. Um, the inserter parts... Oh, we do have F and E I here. Of course we do. Inserter parts go into stack inserters as well. I highly recommend the recipe book mod. Much better overview than FNEI. We can give it a try. The what's up? Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Check iron gear usage. Yes, indeed. You go err. You go err. All right. So, what's the shape of? inserting, uh, inserter builds in this. Let's find out. Uh, fast inserter requires yellows as well. This one, of course, requires fast. Stack inserter requires fast. Uh, stack filter inserter requires stack inserter, and I'm not going to worry about these, uh, how, I don't know how late game Immersite is, but as far as we're concerned for the moment, this is super late game. Prefer FNEI, I was using FNEI before, but recipe book won me over. Much simpler UI and UX, nice. Um, I do have one complaint with FNEI in that sometimes the search doesn't, I can't think of an example to demonstrate it, but sometimes the search just doesn't bring up what I'm typing. There, there are specific cases. 
Um, so that would help. Okay. Uh, we need steel and green circuits. Let's illustrate this with a combi. That's glass. Steel plate. Green circuit. Green circuit steel plate again. Uh, red, green, steel gear wheel. Steel gear wheel. And also in set of hearts. Hmm. Set to parts and single cylinder engines. Uh, this just requires iron. St is this the only thing that needs an iron stick here? Yeah, it is. Iron stick and yellow. And finally, red, green, steel gear, and stack inserter. Okay, so the shape, or the possible shapes that we're going to go with to build this thing are becoming a bit more apparent. Um, we obviously need to start with this, with a belt of inserter parts and small electric. Whoops. Small... Uh, single cylinder engines, rather. Uh, then we have yellows require. Oh, I almost forgot this. Uh, automation core and small electric. The inserter parts look very irregular on the belt. I think search works on ID, not name. Hmm. Uh, Oknos, Wel welcome. Hope you're doing well. Normally, normally I have like, well, normally there's significantly fewer resources that we need. But normally I have something like red is up here, uh, fast is here, and then purple is here, stack is here, stack filter is here. To what extent would that be any good? And if it's not great, can it guide us to doing something else? Um, that actually looks pretty good. Something like this. Whoops. Something like this. A single belt between these two. Uh, green circuits. This requires four different resources. I would like... Hmm. What if this was fast for later on? How fast would it consume the inserter parts? 12.5 per second. That is... Uh, significantly less than half of a blue belt. So we could... Hmm. We're going to need to produce the inserter parts uh, locally as well. They're not going to be bust. This is the only place we use them. Um, so... Inserter parts? What's our rate? We'd need 10 of them to build the stack inserters quickly. 
I don't think I want to do that. What if we gave it, like, speed threes, for example? It's still relatively slow, but we don't need to produce 2.5 stack inserters per second consistently. Have you activated the fuzzy search in game settings? Uh, is it here? I think it's on by default. I think I remember that. Doesn't show it that way. F-N-E-I. Is it under map or a player? I don't see F-N-E-I. Yeah, I don't see it here. Settings. I don't see the word fuzzy either. It's a vanilla setting, as in like just settings. Fuzzy search. That's not specific to FNEI, right? To Camillo, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. All right, um, more importantly, is this going to give us... That's actually net positive for inserter parts if we're just making non-stacks. I think I can live with that. So this could actually just be... Uh, from this bus. And then... Direct insert that to there. Um, over here we've got one, two, three items. What's the rate like? Two, two, and two. Two, two, and two. Okay, so it doesn't really matter. Um, although it probably consumes them relatively quickly. Ten per second each. It's kind of fast. Except we're not going to be going... 10 per second, we're going to bottleneck on inserter parts, which I don't mind. So realistically, if everything's going full speed, it's like a third of what this can do. So like three per second for each of these. We could probably use some long arm inserters here. I really don't care if inserters are going the absolute maximum possible speed. Um, so this will be... Uh, red and green circuits from somewhere. And this will be... Steel gear wheel on the other side, actually. And inside of parts, I guess we can get rid of this entirely. I can go somewhere like this. We also need a uh, We also need the sticks for the long arms. So maybe maybe something like this.
I love how the all this stuff just instantly disappears in this mode. Uh, and then we could have sticks here. Oops. Or maybe we could make it a little bit neater if it's more like this, I guess. Unless... If that was down a tile, this was up a tile. This could go in here. And we could just do that like so. What do we need for inserter parts? Stick and gear wheel. Okay. How about... We're going to be seriously negative uh, rate calc on iron sticks with this, but again, I don't particularly care if inserters are going as fast as possible. Is this going to YouTube? Yes, indeed. Uh, lighted medium electric poles. We're just a bit short to cover all of our... All of our connections, uh, inserters here. That seems pretty good. I like that. That's pretty neat. Um, let's change that back to our. Crappy assemblers for now. And I guess I should include the constant combinators so that it's clear what needs to go where. Um iron gear wheel. We're gonna have those bust, right? And this is iron plate, of course. Yeah, I don't think it gets much neater than that. Oh, I didn't put um, inserters here. Alright, let's blueprint this thing. Are you going again to those city block structures? Probably. Um, I think I'm going to use some smaller ones this time. All right, so let's just describe it like so. And inserters. That's going in the K2 plus SE book. Let's go back to watching to avoid the end game SE content. Uh, okay, Rorosaur, Majagus, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome, hope you're doing well. Alright, uh, let's get this thing into our game. And who knows for how much time has passed while we were designing that, but it's quicker than fumbling around in the dark over here. Um, we do need to... I think we've got enough turrets for now. We can we can get rid of all this for the moment. Get rid of the spaghetti. I'm a little uh, I feel a little sketchy about getting rid of the ammo producing spaghetti for the moment though. Oh, this is it's a good thing we have picker dollies, because moving this around would be a nuisance otherwise. Let's move that up here for now. What the? It's moving around the iron plate. I never saw that before. That's amazing. 
didn't want to see the end of your last run quite yet. Uh, okay. Uh, what are we... I need some chests. I need some better chests. Actually, I'll keep that splitter there. Okay. Spaghetti be gone. And let's make two belts for iron. Um, we got two here. Make some more of these before I run out. That's going to be iron. Two belts for copper. I think we'll just run those up here. Wait, that's not copper. Splitter as soon as possible. Should I have one tile between them? Is that enough? Uh, not necessarily. If I have two tiles between them, that's not going to reach over there. If I have one tile between them, it's still not going to reach over. Uh, a red one would reach over this. I think it'd be a bit cleaner if we leave two tiles between them. Two tiles is the usual? Yeah. Alright, so we got iron, copper, stone brick. Even though we'll only do one belt to produce them, uh, I might just put two belts. For the output, if only so that they can buffer up a bit more. Who knows, maybe we'll even add I, I, I seriously doubt we're going to need that much stone brick. Uh, stone. Are we going to need two belts of stone before we... You know what? There's no harm in having two belts. And there could be harm in having one belt. So that's going to go there. It's going to go there. May not need stone bricks, but you could use a belt of stone. Yes, indeed. Uh, and we can put this... Oh, we've already got a splitter back there, so we don't need another one up here. Uh, so that's the four basics. We need some steel. Given the train station is here... Well, I could move the train station... It just needs to pick... Where is the train? Uh, okay. It's actually doing its job. You should also include the loader in your insert blueprint. You'll need many of them. Oh, the loader? Uh, I think we'll do a separate build for belts and stuff, and this will be included in that since it uses belts. Um, should I move? This would be a good opportunity to do it, actually. Yeah, why don't, why don't we move this train station? And we 
we can do steel production up here. Uh, move all these boxes over again. Pick up a random bit of fuel. Uh, the K2 loader need belt. Mix them up. No worries. Uh, let's go... This can go in here. Probably going to move these as well. How much ammo is this? Almost zero. Okay. That means we can move all of this crap. Um, I should probably, at least for the moment, at least make a ammo production thing. Uh, can we make bigger chests yet? No, never mind. How about... Like this, and like this, and like this. Ammo. We need coal, iron, and copper. And electricity. Since we hadn't fully automated it yet anyway, that's just as easy. And I need the name of that station. Was that? Milk mat. Uh, ammo pickup. I can't like shift right click this to copy it or something. Ammo pickup. Rifle mag. Train should now be on its way back. Fantastic. We also need to supply it with some fuel. Might just do this for the moment. It's a bit easier. And we've got a ton of fuel down here. Whoops, that's fine. That'll keep it going for quite a while. The spaghetti is disappearing. Alright, we need some stone. If I'd built these belts already, we would already have it. I'm tempted to put another box here. Just so I can pick it up more easily. Why not? Doesn't look quite right. There we go. Hello there. Uh, Pospec. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I just name stations with the icon and a P or D makes it a bit easier to read. I was thinking about how I was going to do um, how I was going to do my station names compared to last time as well. What I was doing before was station names with like everything that is being dropped off at that station followed by a requester chest to show it's a requester station. Um, however. I think what I'll do next time is that, but I'll also add, like, the name of the product that it's there to produce so that we get some more unique names. Stay winning life. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Is this the one with the Doom Chambers? I don't know. But that sounds pretty spooky.
All right, um, so let's revise what we need to do for steel. We need steel, which is coke and iron plate. We need coke, which is wood and coal. Uh, and that's basically it. It has to be coal specifically. Should we do a dedicated iron input rather than take it from here? I think that might be for the best. All right, what would this look like? Stone furnace. Um, iron plate. We could just use the coal for the iron plate for this build. Might simplify things a little bit. Oak is wood and coal. And then we finally do steel. One sub equals one doom chamber? It's kind of spooky. My main priority when naming stations is just making it nice and quick to type in. Mm. I want it to be descriptive and uh, when I click on the trains, the stations to see what trains are coming to it, I want minimum ambiguity. Crystal pylon. Okay. Uh, so coke and iron plate. I guess... Hmm. Hmm. I guess it's going to look something like this. If we're going to do the direct insertion thing, it might not end up looking very good. Will it use... let's find out. Um... So this is this is going to be iron and coal, and this is going to be wood, I guess. Or we could just do iron and then wood and coal, depending on the ratios. There's no way to have... Uh, no, I could do iron and coal here. And then we'd only need one inserter for each. Okay. Uh, power... Is this in fact going to supply coke to here as fuel as well? Check where else you might need coke. Uh, search. Usage. Byte of research data. Hmm. Steel beam. Oh wait, what? Steel beam? Hold on. Can we go back to the start? Uh, by the research data, steel beam as opposed to steel plate. Didn't we make plate and then beam before? Steel gear wheel. This is made in an advanced assembly machine. So we're not going to be doing that for a while. Steel plate. Uh, Coke also makes... Heavy oil, coke, light oil, and steam. This is coke liquefaction. That's not going to be in our little main bus base. Uh, coke and molten iron make steel ingot. Yeah, no, I think this is fine for now. Morpheus is out. 
good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. We did, in fact, get coke put here as fuel. And coke gains energy when we make it, so I think that's fine. So we could do it like this. Um, or we could go for something else. This is not going to be the most compact. Well, what's the rate like here? Positive coke. Uh, net zero iron. That's actually pretty good. That's actually really good. So unless we wanted to do like big rows of stuff and try and get an exact ratio, or almost an exact ratio. I think we'd probably need quite a few machines before we stop needing one-to-one -one coke to steal. Stupid question, but what mod is this editor? It is called Editor Extensions. And I don't think that's a stupid question. Hamper, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. At least make the furnaces snug. I don't know how much more snug I could make them. I mean, apart from moving this over, obviously. That's pretty easy. Um, so we're going to have... I guess that's only 50% as dense as if we just had a straight row of stone furnaces for the steel. That's probably not that bad. I don't know if we can do better. Because otherwise we'd need like... Something like this. And I think this is going to look really bad. Uh, let's say that goes there, that goes there, we have long arms, well only one side would have to be long arms, and we have the output something like this. I, I hate this already. This is... This is not the way. Uh, maybe. I don't know. Uh, so this is... Eight of these. And one... Uh, two, four, six, eight. It is a lot denser. Undergrounds aren't necessary? How so? Would you output coke as well since it's net positive? Um, it's only a bit net positive. I don't think I would bother with that here. 1.5 per second. That's more net positive than I thought, actually. But looking looking at coke in FNEI, I don't think we're going to be bossing it around for this small base. Shift reds down. Shift reds down. Uh, good point. Thank you. That's a bit better. We only use half the belt. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I forgot. I forgot. We can just do this. Thank you, K2. Vita Coke. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Okay, yeah. I, uh, I kind of like this now. That's actually... That's actually really neat. And it's way more compact than this one. It is way better, yeah. I'm calling the Insata police. <laughs> okay. Alright. Uh, let's... Oh, that is beautiful. Look at that. We just have to figure out getting the belts in. How many things are coal going... Uh, are coal going into? 
Dark hole going into. Mags. Explosives. Grenades. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're busting this. Uh, so... I would like, if I can, the coal to be here. Um, I suppose I could just have coal come through after the smelting. Wait, no, we already changed that to um, processed fuel. I personally don't use the near output and instead have a gap with a lane switch halfway down the build. Krasis, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I thought you have more of a break from Factorio. Guess the factory must grow. A little bit, yeah. I'm doing two days a week of three different games right now. Uh, and if I, for example, finish with Terraria... I'll switch to some other variety, uh, some other game for that time slot. What was that blueprinting mode? Uh, it is editor extensions. Um, and if you go to mod settings per player, uh, there's an option here, testing lab. Um, so you can actually have a lab that you can use in the middle of a normal game uh, that's not where you've got infinite resources and everything, but it's not going to affect your game and it's not cheating or anything. Uh, very, very handy. Although, that said, I will be keeping this clean. If I'm going to do anything that needs persistence, I'm going to do it in another save. Uh, for the testing, that is. Okay. Um, I guess I'll do the iron here so that we can take advantage of this fuel that's already there. And we'll just... I should really make this iron mine already. Let's grab some more iron plate. Uh, maybe I'll need a bigger splitter. Or maybe we can just be lazy at least for a moment. We'll just split this over here. Whoops. Whoops, whoops. So that is going there. That's our iron. Oh. Coke is wood plus coal, which we've got over here. Um, I won't worry too much about what else we're doing with these for the moment. I'm just going to get this working. Need some more yellow inserters. Need to disable inventory sync. Disable inventory sync. I think I did that. Per player. Sync inventory and cursor between play modes. When in cheat mode, your inventory and cursor stack will be synced between the editor and normal play. Yeah, we don't want that. All right, uh, stop this for now. Stop this for now, there we go. 
and this goes here. Power poles. Not gonna need too many. And that'll be steel. Easy enough. And we could double it easily enough as well. Does your craft crew, uh, craft queue keep going in test lab? Yeah, uh, time does pass. I'll show you. Uh, fishy, go on belt. Lab. And fishy at end of belt. Very handy. Red inserters don't replace other ones, so you can drag them over yellows. You can drag them. Oh, yeah, yeah, I know. Yep. Uh, we actually don't have power here. Hmm. Uh, easy enough. Alright, cool. Let's place some more of this belt. Um, actually, I should probably get. Well, I need more. I need more things bust before I make that inserter build. Are biters enabled? Yes, indeed. Uh, narcotic flame. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Revan, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well also. You want to go for medium poles below, yes. Uh, so we need, what was it? Uh, we need gears, small electric engines, uh, single cylinders, steel we've got, we need green circuits. Although just getting yellows automated would be good. So then decrafted while in test lab resources void? No, they don't void. The game continues while you're in the lab. Uh, FX Pro Rock. Thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, yeah. How much steel is this? 2.5 per second. Is that a lot? I imagine not. Uh, regardless, I think... I think I should stop with the over-designing of this for just a second and get some get some actual throughput of iron since these have run out. Narcotic Flame, thank you for the follow. Run these undergrounds, and then we can go... Burr. And... What have we got? One, two, three, four, five, six... We'll probably merge this in here. Do I not have a splitter? Oh no. Oh no. Alright, you know what? Just for the moment, we're just going to do this. Still got plenty of undergrounds. Actually, why don't I continue this way? I'm surprised you opted for cliffs on Nalvis. Uh, I didn't really think about it, to be honest. We can always remove them. I need more regular, uh, more lighted small power poles as well. Alright, I think it's about time for a little break though. Um, a bit shorter than last time. We'll do some words on stream. 
in about 30 seconds or so. And I'll be back in a few minutes. Good luck and have fun.
Oh, rip. Alright, let's continue with some space exploration then. Uh, actually finished all of that handcrafting already. That's good. Let's turn off the autopilot for words on stream. There we go. And... That's probably... Probably all of the mining drills we need for the moment. Until we can automate them. I've got four more greenhouses I haven't placed as well. Splitter. Can go here. Okay. Let's go put down these greenhouses, not that we need them just yet. And we'll keep our wood good and saturated. Fantastic. Let's get some storage. Uh, probably a bit more storage than that. And... Alright, so we've got a belt of steel. Or rather, we've got 2.5 steel per second, which... Maybe we'll double it. Uh, I mean, we've got steel furnaces, we can double it without doing anything. But maybe we'll physically double the number of furnaces here as well at some point. Why is this one not working? Because there's no fuel? Oh, because I didn't reconnect this yet. Okay. Um, I don't suppose... We're gonna get enough... just out of wood, but let's find out. Uh, I just realized I don't have to do anything to make them use both sides of the belt as well. Let's go for some inserters. Give me that iron. One more of these. And... This. And power? Not that these use power, just the inserters. We're actually very bottlenecked on the inserters here. Very, very bottlenecked on the inserters. The fast ones can't keep up. Um, yeah, I probably miscalculated here. We probably still only needed like two of these. But that's fine. I'm sure it's going to consume wood faster than we can produce it. 14.55 per second. Uh, we are net negative 12. But once it saturates fuel, that shouldn't be an issue. And if it is, uh, in fact, why don't we get ahead of this? More wood. Uh, 
We're already running out of our reserves. Not surprising. Uh, why don't we just copy that? And... There we go. Wait, what? Oh, I did five. Might as well do a few extra now and not have it crash as soon as you start working. Yeah, definitely. It's probably going to go through all the wood we have or something close to it um, to saturate this with fuel, but the actual rate of consumption of the fuel is maybe going to be behind what we produce already. 1.25 megajoules times 20 over 120. Um, so, this many megajoules per second. Wait, uh, two one megajoules per second times. Uh, what is this? Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, twenty-four. So about five megajoules per second. That actually sounds like kind of a lot. I'm pretty sure. Switch to the sand recipe, it's a huge improvement. I want it to work indefinitely without me doing anything. I, I like the renewable recipes. That's why I like coal mining. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yes, good. All right, um, this goes here, and that just barely reaches. Fantastic. Set and forget. Yes, indeed. Do they not consume power? They do, but we can make that renewable as well. Not just yet. Well, we do have solar panels, so technically we could do it already, but... Um, oh, and I mean, we start the game with wind power, which is just... It would take a lot. Um, but each of these is just 20 kilowatts. Kilowatts? Uh, yeah, 20 kilowatts just indefinitely. It takes so little water to grow the trees as well. You're just trading stone for coal, though? Uh, for the moment, yeah. But not once we get enough uh, energy from other sources. If you send processed wood to boilers, uh, as in wood turned into processed fuel, yeah, I was thinking about that. Um... I mean, I guess, I guess you could count, so it's like 10%, it's plus 10% from this. This is like a 10% productivity bonus. Um, I already forgot, it was like 0.21 megajoules, right? Per second. So, uh, 0.23 megajoules per second, uh, megajoules per second. Is that 0.23 megawatts? So we come out ahead because our max consumption is 207 kilowatts? Yeah, uh, I think. And the pump is like... If, well, the pump is not actually 50 kilowatts. That's max consumption. The minimum is zero. And one pump supports practically infinite uh, greenhouses, so we can kind of discount that. So yeah, we do come out slightly ahead. Um, if we were to turn this into processed fuel to run the boilers, except we would need... We would need a lot of them. Like, really a lot, I think. 27 kilowatts per greenhouse? Wait, what? Later on, you have infinite sand as well, indeed. 
Oh, did I place all of these? I did not. Um, but yeah, I do prefer the wood to be completely set and forget. Speaking of which, this is already backed up. Okay, um, so we need iron gear wheel. I was thinking of doing that here. Uh, very, very straightforward. One in, one out. And I guess I want to leave enough room... to at least saturate one belt with this later on. I'm sure with speed... Uh, we're going to use prod modules in this, aren't we? Eventually. So with a basic beacon. speeds, or uh, maybe some efficiency as well. 840 kilowatts, yeah, that's not terribly attractive by a machine. Uh, that's still plus 320%, actually. Plus 3... Oh, it doesn't have power, that's why. Actually, let me just Put one of these down. And Whiskers, thank you for hanging out. Do take care. Have a good evening. Okay, so what's our rate here? Uh, power rather, plus 100%. We actually get to use hardly any speed modules, or zero speed modules, if we want that to be low power consumption. Huh. So then that's only 5.2 per second. How does that compare to this rate? 8 per second. Let's just go by the rate from assembly machine 1s then. Uh, so 15 per second is one belt. I think I want to double this. Um, if I do it like this, we need 16, oh, it's actually exactly one per second each, but that means I would need an odd number, no! It's probably fine. That's what we'll tell ourselves. Uh, iron in, and wait, how much iron is this? Only 8 per second, it's fine. I think we'll just do it like this. Pretty straightforward. Uh, the cliffs are going to be a little bit of an issue here. Unless... No, they definitely are. We don't have to do it double sized to start with. Uh, so, output go here, output go here. Um, we could maybe put that a bit closer, and input this way. Uh, let's make it ghosts for now, I don't want to build the entire thing all at once. Wait, what?
Oh, that actually fits. Nice. Alright, I think we'll just start with like eight of these. That should be more than enough. Uh, that goes there. It could just go for half the build. Yeah, it should be more than enough for a while. I'm just leaving room to expand a bit later on. So iron is going to come down this way. So easy to deal with two belts. And since we're on yellow belts, I could handcraft some reds just to skip over this. It's fine. It goes there. Uh, I guess it goes here, actually. And... Some power poles. These medium poles are so much better. I love it. Um, we will still need a couple, uh, one on each side at least, though. If they reached one more tile to connect, it would be even better. Can I make that reach? Alright, let's get our splitters. I thought I already crafted those. Apparently not. Let's get some belt. And that'll be our gears. Let's have some storage. Uh, I think I should just put it here. I find most builds don't make good use of the extra coverage. So I just went for wooden poles, 90% of the builds. I, I mean, I like them. Uh, we don't have a splitter up here, that's why this isn't working yet. Alright, so that is uh, cogs. We got cogs, we got iron plate, we don't have uh, single cylinder engines. We don't have small electric, and we don't have automation core. And we don't have green circuits. Okay. Um, let's focus on one thing at a time here. Iron gear plus iron plate. Nice and simple. Um, let's see what kind of rate slash size we're going to get out of that. Probably the same shape. I think. Rate is 6.66666. What was the rate of gears here? So we'll be net positive if we do the same build. That seems okay for now. I think we'll just do the exact same thing. Sandboxing today? Uh, yes and no. I've got it as something I can just switch to in the middle of the game. Um, unless I'm going to... Except for some of the more complicated builds where I'm going to need some permanence. Uh, where, like, we need to test spaceships and stuff. I'll jump into another save to do the editor extension stuff. Uh, but things like this, this is incredibly handy. 
and D Gaming. Thank you for the raid. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Welcome, raiders. Clever indeed. It is a very nice mod. Um, it, so it's editor extensions, and you go settings, mod settings, per player. Um, turn this sync inventory thing off, and under testing lab, you want personal. So that'll allow you to just flick over to this mode where you've got infinite resources and infinite space to test things much more quickly. If you lift off test lab, where do you go? Uh, I don't know if you can, that's the thing. If you play a separate game with, uh, if you start a new game with the editor extensions mode, um, that's probably the way to go with testing. Um, testing spaceships and things, but I don't know what would happen. Like, this is just a separate surface in the same game, right? So, I th think... If I launched a satellite, it might actually think like I launched a satellite in the main game. Uh, it could get a bit weird. I suspect you might trigger weapons cache then. Weapons cache? Iron gear and iron plate. Um, that's easy enough to manage. Yeah, I think we'll just do the exact same... Exact same build that we just did. Only with different resources here. And I guess for now... I do have cliff explosives, but... Uh, would it be worth scrounging some together just to get rid of these. We'd only need, like, one, probably. The thing is, I haven't done any oil yet. Um, so we would have to get... We would have to get sulfur. And then... Grenade and empty barrel? That's actually pretty easy. We can handcraft empty barrel, we can handcraft grenade. We just need to make some sulfur to make explosives. Uh, so we need two chemical plants to make this happen. Well, after we get petroleum. So we need a oil refinery and some water. This, this is pretty close to water. This is very close to water right here. Let's make it happen. Um, oil refinery. We need some stone brick. We have plenty of stone brick right here. And then we need two chemical plants. We need our car. We get a weapons cache upon launching the satellite with the endgame weapons. Oh, this is this like the, uh, uh, the little satellite thing, just like with regular SE. Just ignore the cliffs and have some incomplete builds. Never. Impossible. Especially since it's not going to be that difficult um, to get this done. I think I could just run it off like a couple of wind turbines as well, for what I've got in mind here. Uh, we will be needing a pump jack. And an oil refinery. Uh-oh. Help. A offshore pump. Just like this one. Where can I put it? I can't see where I can put it by copy-pasting. Oil construction? Robots approaching? Indeed. How do you place a ghost down when you don't have that item? Uh, this is again the pipette tool. So at the start of the game, if you press Q on some stone or coal or something, you'll get the burner mining drill. 
if you have electric mining drills in your inventory, it'll give you an electric mining drill in your hand instead. Um, if you put, if you press Q on a crude oil patch, it'll give you oil pump jack. Uh, and yeah, that's basically it. I wish I could press Q on the water and get an offshore pump, but alas. Alright, let's get this thing started. I need some pipe as well. Where is this oil going? Does it have like an internal pipe that I can't see? Don't tell me it's getting wasted. Nope, that instantly became 60. There's like a little invisible bit of stored fluid there. Alright, we need a little bit more pipe. Fantastic. And then we need two chemical plants. One for sulfur, one for explosives. Both of which require water. Um, let's see. This can go here. And we need coal as well. I've got some coal on me. That'll do. It would probably be better if I had the non-lit power poles for this part. Enable place ghost if missing object in options. Uh, thank you, old busk. I didn't even realize that could be switched off. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Three arrow. Good to see you again also. Welcome, welcome. Fluid intakes and outputs are fluid boxes, just like regular item inputs and outputs. Yeah, but you can't see... If you mouse over this, you can't see the amount that's in that storage. Okay. We good? Uh, it's a little slow, to say the least. Oh wow, that is that is very slow. Do we want to want to run power cables all the way up here? How much does this need? Four thirty four kilowatts plus a hundred. Well, this one's not running right. Yes, it is. Um, it's gonna stop once that fills up. But yeah, um, so we're gonna get ninety petroleum. That's gonna give us four sulfur. That's gonna give us. Eight explosives. That's going to give us almost one cliff explosives. Okay. Empty barrel. Grenade. I gave it all my coal. Refineries are pretty power hungry. Yeah. Um, and I could go ahead and automate this, this as well. So we can just come back here and give it some boxes. Um, get, not give it some boxes, give it, it fill some boxes with stuff, just some coal, empty barrels and grenades. Probably easy to just insert those directly. Where's my grenade? Uh, gotta be careful when you're inserting grenades. It's easier to 
It's easy to just throw them at the assembly machine. Did you manage to secure your borders? Yes, indeed. Uh, and we've got fully automated supply of ammo as well. I think that I might need to drop off some more coal, iron, and copper at this point. I'd put a grenade and barrel assembler here since they're slow to craft. Um, I suppose. This whole thing's going to run very slowly, but it doesn't have to very, very fast. I mean, we could still make it faster, though. By now I could have run power over here. Oh well. Just give it a burner? Uh, you mean this horrible thing? Isn't it a dead end? Burner turbine generator. Yeah, it's... We can destroy it if we want to. I, I, I don't like that. Let's just give it some more wind turbines. And what are we missing here? Uh, how much did that give us? Only two explosives. This is slow. Let's improve it. Okay, that's still pretty bad. Let's just run power to this thing. This is taking a little bit longer than expected. get exactly one cliff explosive. Wind turbines are also dead ends. They're like solar panels that work all the time, but not as much power. And I was just wondering that, actually. Uh, I was thinking the solar panels had better give us more than 60 kilowatts if they're going to be worth the effort, which they do. They now give us a hundred for the basic ones. Yeah, I don't think uh, free energy forever is exactly a dead end. Okay. Um, we need to go pick up our goods, though bad for UPS. By the time I have any trouble with that, we can just delete them. It's that it's going to be a long time before that's an issue. If the day cycle is the same as vanilla, that's 100 times 0.7 times equals 70 kilowatts on average. Yeah, I think it is the same as vanilla, or very close to it. For Nalvis. Okay. Whoops. Uh, let's get this iron out of my inventory. And uh, whoops again. Let's just leave that there. Uber Skiff, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. And Cliffs be gone. Fantastic. Alright, so. Did I copy paste this? No, I didn't. Uh, probably one tile below this should be fine. Do we need any space between these? Probably not. I don't think so. And we'll pretend we're gonna double this. Kind of. Uh, I need some more assemblers. 
needs more copper, stone brick actually. Stone brick. Why can we still not make these? Oh, iron. Easy enough. You'll have beacons in between, so no space needed. Yeah, the beacons will be here, and here, and here, and so on. I was thinking maybe a beacon here, but um, it won't be necessary. Solar sails? That's what I wanted. And then someone said, yeah, when the ship runs out of fuel, that's what it's using. Built-in solar sails to go 0 0.34 units of speed. Good call. Wind-powered spaceship? Uh, well, if you run electric boilers off of wind power and you run a ship entirely off steam, then yes. Yes, you can. You can run a ship off of wind power. You will need fuel for propulsion still. You can't just turn electricity into propulsion. And even if you, even if you could, I don't know how you'd get um, interstellar distances. You can run on solar, so you can run on wind turbines. Uh, basically, yes. I did that wrong again, didn't I? There we go. Um, these are probably going to be a little slow, so maybe I'll double it to begin with. No, we don't need to. Probably. Uh, so, iron and iron gear wheel is what we need to combine here. Um, what would be the neatest way to do this? Probably if we had this here. And we did some... I've still got a bunch of undergrounds up here, I think. A hundred, that's not bad. Um, probably like this. My inventory is much too full. Um, tell you what. Put some iron in these. Pick those up. And then iron goes here. Yeah, that's not too bad. Let's copy that for this spot. In fact, why don't we copy all of this? Fantastic. Oh, I didn't uh, rebalance. There we go. And one, and a two, and a three. Need more splitters. Fantastic. And uh, let's also put a storage here. And splitter goes here. I could do an underground here, it might look a little better. Fantastic. We need some loaders. We've already got some. And, uh, I don't want to say fantastic six times per second. Let's calm down a little bit. And inserters. Solar does barely work in space. I think like uh, it's literally 1%, yes. So, I guess if you had a lot of liquid rocket fuel, because the liquid rocket engine is the cheapest power-wise, 
and then as much whole space as possible dedicated to the highest tier of solar panels. That might be one way to do it. I was looking into rocket science and you need a speed module, which led me to solid fuel. Then I checked where the solid fuel was used for and that was rocket fuel. Still better than a turbine though. What is... Uh, solar does work in deep space, yes. Uh, there is one place, at least, that solar doesn't work at all. But you don't need to worry about that too much. Alright, let's get... our power poles... over here. Um, do I have enough inserters? I do not. They are being crafted. Uh, one, two, three, four. And I need some... I think I misspoke a moment ago. Um, I think I said, do I have enough power poles? No, they're being crafted. But that's true, except for the part where they're being crafted. And I was thinking of inserters. There we go. Fantastic. So that is our bus of small electric, I mean, uh, single cylinder engines. Next we need small electric motors, or was it something else that we need before that? No, we definitely need small electric and automation cores. And then we can finally get everything short of blue um, inserters. It'll be worth it to build this at that point. Okay. Should we maybe do small electric up here somewhere? I left room for steel here. Was there something else? Coal, probably. Yeah, I want coal. This is going to be coal. I think. Um, in that case, well, we could make this steel and uh, this coal, either way. Multi cylinders take steel? Uh, no. Multi cylinder is actually. Nothing but iron, ultimately. Uh, in fact, we could put it right here-ish. We've got tons of space. I don't want to be reckless with it, but I don't think I need to stress as much as I am. Uh, but that said, at least with the early parts, I would like to use this space up here. How are you doing? You have no coal for ammo. Excuse me. Um, let's remedy that real quick. Since it seems to run out of coal... Yeah, it runs out of coal twice as quick. Let's just put iron and copper in here. Mixed it up with angels. Fair enough. Uh, can I just pick that up? Yes, I can. How about this? Nice. Picker dollies really is a bit of a lifesaver. Double tap for the win. Okay. Uh, so, steel is going to go down here. Wooden boxes, best item in the game. <laughs> How much is this? 2.5 per second. Yeah, we can just use like one belt to merge all of these without even a splitter. 
Uh, I don't need this here anymore, but it's a bit... My inventory's a bit full to deal with it right now. I even have them in space. Fair enough. Um... I haven't really left room to bring coal through properly. Let's say we double this again. You know what, I have a feeling that just using steel furnaces here, this might even be enough for the whole early game main bus base, given the rate that we were consuming steel before. Um, for now... We'll just do coal like this. And I am aware we need to do something about this tiny little coal mine that's running out. First rocket is about to launch here, boy. Uh, yep, five minutes. Easy. Let's get some power down here. Steel will basically be used for building and military science, unless it has been modded. Okay. Uh, so next we want small electric. Copper, cable, iron, and iron gear. So we need to do it a bit downstream from iron gear at the very least. Um, but maybe up here would be good. I don't have another cliff explosive, but I can easily get one. Uh, we should probably re-automate. I've got a ton of belts, never mind. If anything, I'm carrying too much belt. What is this supposed to be? Stone brick. Let's do that so that I don't have to go looking for it again. This bus is just for a mall and rockets come later. Yeah, this is a this is basically a much nicer starter base is the point of this bus. So we don't need that much throughput. It's not like this is gonna be the base later on. Um, this is so that we can build, uh, we can work our way up to uh, rail blocks and maybe launch one rocket or two. Still is used for lots of stuff, but mostly things you place on the ground. Okay, cool. That's about what I thought. Okay, um, so it's cog, copper cable, and iron plate. Copper cable is just like vanilla, one becomes two. Uh, we don't want to bust this because that's just worse, worse density. LDS and heat shielding becomes primary consumers closer to space though. Oh yeah, for sure. Um, so earliest we could do this is up here, probably. Um, and we probably will just do the same thing that we've done several times now. Let's see, what kind of rate would we get? Five per second? Sure. Uh, output, output, input, it's just, wait, no, it was three items, wasn't it? So that's going to be different. Copper cable, iron gear wheel, iron plate, what's the rate for each one? Uh, what about the whole thing? 
60 copper cable per second, 10 and 10. Okay, so iron plate and iron gear can be as slow as we like. Um, but copper cable is 3.75 per second per machine. So we won't be going for this shape. Um, what's the rate, the ratio here? Don't tell me it's like 2 to 3 to 2 or something. Like circuits. That's actually still net negative on copper plate. A uh, copper cable, rather. Hmm. So two to two to one. It's pretty close, actually. Hmm. Two to one copper cable. In that case, what if we put them like this? And. How much copper plate are we consuming? Two per s one per second to each. We could definitely use long arms for the copper plate and iron gear and iron plate can go here. Uh, three point seven five per second. I guess we don't benefit really from direct insertion yet with no stack bonuses um but do i care probably not direct insert one to two ratio i just went one to one and accepted that it won't run full speed until prods hmm. singularity apoc welcome welcome hope you're doing well how are you flipping between your world and sandbox? There is a mod called Editor Extensions. Uh, you can have its own. It can have its own uh, scenario, and or you can go into Settings, Mod Settings per player, and you'll find it down here. Uh, if you want to use it in a normal game where you're not cheating, you probably want to turn this off. It does say when in cheat mode, so probably it doesn't do anything if you don't activate cheats, I guess. Um, your inventory and cursor stack will be synced between the editor and normal play. I don't think I want that turned on regardless. Uh, but yeah, testing lab, set that to personal. And you'll be able to flick between your game and a lab just like this. It's really pretty brilliant. Lotus for KS will fill an assembler with items to its maximum. I'm sure they will. Uh, let's go for some free resources here. Copper plate. Doesn't really have to saturate both sides. Um, iron plate and iron gear. Give it some power. Give it some power. And avoid the output. Oh, that's got stack size bonuses. I want to see the difference. Uh, what's it going to look like without stack size bonuses? Significantly worse, but as soon as we upgrade this the first time, um, it's going to be fine, I think. Not even. Maybe we should do some fast inserters here. Stack size 1. That's actually totally fine. Uh, except for this part.
Okay. Um, so let's get rid of the override stack size. And we'll go from here. So we want... I could save a tile of wood if I really want to with zigzaggy belts. I don't really see the need. Um, how much do we get out of this? Let's aim for like five at least per second. 2.5 per second. I think the 16 machines earlier was like five per second for cogs or something, right? Okay. That looks pretty good to me. Uh, can we merge these a little bit? What's the rate going to look like? A copper plate. It's still only 8 per second. That's totally fine. We could almost double that on a yellow belt. Fantastic. Uh, I think this is it. This is our build. And can we maybe... I should probably get some more cliff explosives. Let's do that. I'll just paste this here first. So we don't lose it. That's two whole belts of copper. Yeah. Um, I mean, for, for this build at this point, it's going to be less, uh, just over one build. So that should be more than enough for our little base. Even when it, even when it's bursty. Where am I going? Oh yeah, cliff explosives. Uh, let's go for empty barrel. Grenade. I didn't bring iron. How is it I can make empty barrels but not iron? Uh, not a grenade. Give to me some iron plate. Thank you. Uh, now I don't have coal. Okay. I made five, right? Yeah. You should add extra smelters just to feed these early intermediates. Otherwise you only have a trickle for the rest of the bus at all times. Um, not once it saturates, it's fine. It actually stopped crafting because I didn't have room. Okay. Um, I could add a couple of machines to make it easier. I'd have to go get some more coal. It's coal, iron plate, and steel. One, two... Uh, it's only two more machines, why don't we do that? Grenades. Inserters. I can't make another inserter, are you serious? Uh, steel. Coal and iron plate. Grenades. And I guess just move that around a little bit. All right, we got some cliff explosives anyway. We'll come back for more of that later. It won't saturate since those intermediates are used for everything and not just a few things in vanilla. Yeah, but if we control the rate that we produce those things, and the limits for them, it's fine. Uh, 
Okay. Um, do I want to do it? I was, this is why I was getting the cliff explosives. Probably want to do it up here. Should be a pretty good fit. So we need iron and iron gear on this belt. Make it this belt. Something like this. And we've already got a splitter over there. This goes here. This goes here. We need some more copper. Do we really need one more splitter here? I don't know. Oh wait, I almost forgot. Um, we're doing this thing again, but with iron plate. And that's gonna go... Oh wait, this needs to move over a tile, I think. Yeah, it does. Also, that's going to be in the way of the copper. Uh, fine. Not like this. Just move it over one. And this one goes here. Oops. And we're good. We can move these down at least a couple of tiles. Um, I guess this is where we're... Whoops. This is where we're going to have our bus for small electric motors. And yellow inserters we need. for some storage. And we can get rid of these two tiles. Um, probably have undergrounds for these parts. Come to think of it, uh, I want to check the rate. I need more machines. Maybe I shouldn't have del oh I didn't delete it here. What's the rate here? It's only 1.25 per second for iron gear wheel and iron plate. So we could probably bring that up with one belt and then split it for these ones. Or even just run it around like this. So we'll put this here. That's actually a nice fit. And then copper goes here. That's um, almost nice and easy, but once again, this is kind of in the way. But we can live with it. And go. And we're out. 
lot of inserters. Um, busts are actually really easy to make compared to yellows. 48 iron smelters, 48 copper, 24 steel. What are we talking about? For 1 to 1.5 science per second, all the way to rocket, as far as I remember. Yeah, we don't need to go that fast. Uh, especially not in this little base. This is this is to this is basically like a mole base for the most part. It's to enable us to make our rail blocks and stuff. And bearing in mind, we won't have bots for a long time. Uh, I need more long arms. What am I missing here? Upper. And I believe once this is done, we can finally, finally make our inserter build. I mean, I'd better leave room for some green circuits as well in the bus. Green circuit is just copper and wood, basically. Unless we want to use stone tablets, which might be a good idea. It's only 0.2 of a stone brick per circuit. Oh, it's actually... F yeah, no, no, it's still two stone for one stone brick. It just does it in batches of five. So 0 0.4 stone for one electronic circuit. Might be better than trying to produce that much wood. Wood usage becomes insane if you go that route, yeah. I mean, we could do insane wood production, but maybe not just yet. What if we did the version of wood that needs sand and therefore stone, but then use wood for green circuits? I wonder if that would come out ahead or not. Um, okay, we need some fast inserters. I got some reds here. I guess that didn't have to be a red at the end, but whatever. Oh, this one's direct inserting to a chest, which I... Wait, no, it's not. Maybe it should, though? Maybe that would be fine. What the? There we go. Still need a couple more of these. Gonna need some... Inserters? I don't think there's a very good way to... That's not too bad. But this isn't going to reach, is it? Unfortunate. What about some small ones? No, that's terrible. No matter how you look at it, we're either one off good placement or one off good reach with the. Uh, uh, with the power poles. So let's just do this. I guess this is fine too. That's not so bad actually. And we could have some symmetry there. I don't really need them yet. Inserters, please. Uh, 
One, two. That's not covered, is it? No. Why don't we put these in the middle? Fast inserters. Fantastic. And this should be a splitter right about here. didn't realize the rocket was cheaper to make than vanilla, and I way overbuilt. <laughs> nice. Um, you don't really need the the vanilla-ish rocket for too long either. Um, where is it? Silo. Space probe rocket silo is not what I'm looking for. I think it's under military if you use K2. This is the vanilla satellite rocket silo um it the first launch is very important it gives you access to space and the navsat and everything uh, after that it just discovers like zones for you uh surfaces but eventually it does nothing so you really don't have to worry about the rate that you're producing those at all Uh, I think that's it, except I'm missing a long arm, and this part's not powered, god damn it, can't win, I can't win with the power poles, okay. I guess these back where they were. Um, anyway, let's connect these up to the rest of the world. Somehow. One off. No. Alright, so that is our bus of small electric motors. I seem we seem to be missing some iron. There we go. Since the cargo rocket parts use the same intermediaries, you need it for yellow science as well. Oh. Yeah, I was just going off of space exploration without K2, so. Uh, it could have changed it more than expected. Where is this going? Oh, this is the gears again. And then I think this looks a bit better. It's a bit more obvious what it's doing. Alright, this is actually starting to look like some kind of base. Fantastic. Let's turn those back into ghosts. Uh, Gibbo Gamer, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. And I believe that is everything except for green circuits. No, automation cores as well. It is a long road to doing a good automation for 
inserters with Crestorio. Uh, steel plate we've got on the bus. I haven't done those ghosts yet, but still. Green circuits. Automation cores. Alright, what do automation cores entail again? Iron stick. So that's iron. Iron, iron gear, and copper. Just like... It's actually exactly the same as... Um, uh, small electric motors, except instead of copper plate becoming uh, copper cable, it's iron plate becoming iron stick. Uh, I'm sure the ratios are a little bit different, but let's let's compare. So if this is iron stick. This is automation core. And we have iron plate and iron gear wheel and copper plate. That will probably... what's the ratio like? Very positive on sticks. We only need one to one. Okay, so the shape of it is going to be different. Um, but otherwise... Oh, it's actually two to one, I think. Let's see. Oops. Uh, can we void those, please? Thank you. Long arm, direct insert. And that's actually a perfect ratio. And it's only a little bit of iron gear wheel and copper plate. Alright, so something like this, perhaps. What kind of rate do we get out of that? Uh, four per second? That's pretty much in line with... Our other builds. Uh, this is looking a bit weird. That's where that goes. And this goes here. That scan surface feature is awesome. Going solar also means you're delaying progress beyond the oil phase by at least three hours compared to if you went oil power, transitioned into nuclear, and went solar. Oh, I see. Okay. Uh, that seems pretty decent. Uh, what's the rate for all of this? Uh, the copper and iron gear. That's more than half a belt. So we should probably not do the split thing like we did before. And then that goes there. Products finished. Greater than zero. Fantastic. Alright, that looks to be our build. And what are our inputs again? Copper, iron gear, and iron. All of which is on the bus. Um, if automation cores and 
these things go together. Why don't we build them together? Also, what on earth is this? That'll be fine. Okay. So, something like... This... Output is actually facing the bus. Yes, we'll do our storage here. We need at least six assembly machines to get this started. Iron goes here with just one belt. This is copper and gear. Copper and gear, you say. So we're going to copy this. That goes here. Gear goes here. I need more splitters. That's not a whole lot of splitters. Let's grab some iron. Let's grab some gears to make it easier. And why don't I grab single cylinder engines as well? Much easier to handcraft that way. Is that a, that's not a stack inserter, what am I saying? And, uh, we actually have some pretty decent placement for the medium pole here. Although over here it's going to be a different story unless I move those long arms. That doesn't reach, does it? I'm going to cry. Okay. I guess something like this. Nope, that doesn't reach either. Heresy. That doesn't reach. Alright. And then... Need some more poles. How do you get from new Factorio player to knowing how a full bus needs to be built? Uh, experience, really. Experimentation. See what works and what doesn't. Steal some stuff from other people to some extent. No trains yet? We have a train. It's right here. See? Isn't it beautiful? It's got 114 uh, rifle mags in it right now. Thanks for reminding me, actually. I should definitely give it some more copper. And iron. And probably mostly copper, it looks like. Uh, Quacker Jack, nice name. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Blows, blows up a lot. Nice name also. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. You can build an array for resource a hundred times, but you're always, you'll always find a better way in Factorio. Yeah. Uh, some things more than others, but there's endless improvements. Absolutely. 
I mean, the last playthrough of Space Exploration, uh, there's several things that I learned that I'm looking forward to applying this time. Uh, here, I guess. Or... We can't do symmetry! When in doubt, put a lane of it on the bus, leave room for expansion for stuff, and you know you will need... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, if you have the space, build everything bigger than you'll think you'll need to. Um, so that... You, you're better off... You're better off leaving room to build too big than ending up painting yourself into a corner, basically. Even if you build spaghetti, if it's actually spacious enough, you'll have room to, like, fix your mistakes. Um, oh, there's no iron here yet. Because I haven't brought the iron here yet. That's why. Um, alright, that is automation cores. We can just build more of it to make it go faster. Um, I might do the storage thing like this again. Uh, some more... More loaders would be good. I don't actually need to build that yet. There we go. And that's automation cores. So now, finally, finally, we have single cylinder engines, we have gears, we have iron, we have small electric motors, and we have automation cores. Uh, I would like to get green circuits on the bus before, before we do our inserter build though. Um, so that is... I think we will use the stone tablet version, since we're scaling up a lot more than these couple of machines over here. Speaking of which, I need to visit that to get the spaghetti signs going again. Um, but that said... Uh, this should be pretty straightforward. Copper cable, stone tablet... Okay, it's not that straightforward, because both of these are the kind of resource that you don't bus strictly because... Uh, only because you lose density. Uh, it's very, very fast to make stone tablets or copper cables, um, and they take up more space on the belt. So, that said, what's our ratio like? Um, I think copper cable is still... Copper cable to green circuit is still 2 to 3, right? Exactly t exactly 3 to 2. Um, stone tablet... One of these machines makes 4 per second. And... That supports this much. So that's actually perfect ratio right there. Uh, the question is, how do we belt it? 4 per second is not that much. Um, so I guess we'll just go... How much copper plate is this? Only 6. Um, would it be neater if... How much is this? 4 per second. So this will be 8 per second. Can I maybe... Hmm... I could do it like that. And we could have the output belt of greens and the input belt of stone tablet. The ratio is close to 1 to 1 after prod 2s. Yeah, I'm not going to worry too much about that with this base. 
We're not going to be keeping this base, like, indefinitely. Do you sometimes use some planning mod, or is it usually all in editor? Uh, I like to use the editor. I do have a factory planner somewhere, but I haven't, like, gotten in the habit of using it. I think, I mean, I would love to use this for if I was designing a, a mega base. Like, let's say we're playing vanilla and I want a target of X science per minute, per second, whatever. Um, and I want to build literally everything with very good ratios in mind from the ground up for the entire base. Uh, this would work very, very well for that. But I find for things like this, just rate calculate it. Um, it's quite effective. I had the perfect blueprint for the green circuit. A nice looking design is to have one machine direct feed stone tablets to four green circuit machines. Uh, how so? Like like this or something except then you need oh it's three to two isn't it derp and then the output belts are going to be a bit weird it does make it significantly wider well, it's actually one tile wider. And then we'd have something like... The output from the green circuits is going to be a bit... No, that's not too... That is. Something like this, perhaps? I don't love that. But on the other hand, I kind of like this. We could maybe reshape that a little bit so that this looks a bit neater. Okay. And what's our rate here? Eight per second? We do tend to consume way more green circuits than other things, so I might leave room to make it, like, 16 per second. Um, that's still only 12 copper plate per second. It's less than a yellow belt. So I think if we make that go faster later, the belts, the upgraded belts will keep up. Uses more underground, but less inserters in space. Yeah, I like it. I do like it. Uh, this doesn't have to go anywhere unless we stretch this out further. Let's see, if we doubled it, uh, very little stone brick, 16 stone tablet per second, that's slightly too much for a yellow belt, but by the time we're doing that we could just upgrade the belt. Oh wait, that's 16 stone tablet, not stone brick, that's super easy. Uh, the stone brick is super easy to keep up with. Um, 16 electronic circuit per second. 24 copper plate. Uh, yeah, I think... Um, I think what we'll leave room for, just in case, because circuits tend to get out of hand. is four times this. That 
doesn't seem right. That does actually. One, two, three. And you know, that seems fine. Center is unpowered. Oh yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Um this goes here. Easy enough. Okay, so let's say we do that times four. Uh, power poles don't go across here. Unfortunate. Well, that can be wherever. Alright, so our rate from that would be... Just over two belts, two yellow belts of green circuits. Um, and it's actually uh, quite a bit of copper plate, actually. A little bit more than one blue belt of copper plate. I don't think we need to leave this much room for expansion for the base that we're building. Um, less than two belts of copper plate. Yeah, this is, this is it. Fantastic. Um, you need separate copper belts? Yes, indeed. J101. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Warcat. Warcat. Welcome, welcome also. I do like that the energy requirement for coal miners has been reduced, even if you can't build them... On certain locations. What are they down to? Uh, I don't think I can place a core mining drill here, even though I can, like, cheat. Uh, let's see. Cliffs, tiles. I wouldn't know where to find... Uh, let's see. What is it called? core seam. Can we find it in here? Or is that like something else? Like a cliff or something? Core fissure. Uh, I think we just added it. Core mining drill. I can't seem to see it. Yeah, it's kind of Kind of invisible. Uh-oh. I hope I didn't wreck anything. Oh, I just deleted it. Okay, never mind. Uh, Warcat, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I think it was 30 instead of 50 megawatts. Okay, cool. Uh, does it actually tell us here, now that I think of it? Uh, 25 megawatts. It's half as much as it used to be. Okay. Uh, copper and stone, you say. Stone brick is here. Copper is here. And the other buses are here. And I th think probably just put this about here. That's not going to quite work with the copper unless we want to... Uh, we could do that. Where's our next bus going to fit? Whoops. So that is the same distance. Uh, 
And we're going to put this... Oh, that's going to be only one belt. That's probably fine. To be honest. Yeah, I gotta not get too carried away and remember the scale that this base is gonna stick to. Um, alright, so copper can go here. Your belt for stone plate not connected. Uh yeah. That that's true. I'll still have two belts, um, just to, for consistency and to simplify certain things here. I might actually put the storage here, though. Since I don't quite have room to put this... Here. Your second machine. Uh, what do you mean by that? Second machine? Sec machine? The belt doesn't go all the way to the end of the line. Oh, I see. I don't think we'll go that far just yet. The underground belt's not connected. Yep. Okay, so that is stone brick. That goes here. Oh no. We're out of undergrounds. They're actually relatively easy to make. Splitter goes here. That's not quite right. There we go. That can go straight into a splitter, surely. I think I need more assembly machines. That means more copper. Uh, let's make sure we grab all of the prerequisites that we've automated. Fantastic. Uh, what else am I missing here? Iron plate. Iron gears. Much better. Could have grabbed some automation cores as well. No beam automation? Uh, not just yet. We might bust that, we might not. Iron beam. Gun turret crusher, greenhouse, loader, wind turbine, medium pole storage tank, underneath the... That's kind of a lot, but what about... Uh, let's see, two iron plate, two seconds. It does get more dense, like vanilla gears, so that might be worth fussing as well. Uh, but for now, once we do this, uh, we will have everything we need. to fully automate inserters at long last. Normally this is normally this takes like three steps. But Crastorio to be a bit crazy. Um let's run our power poles. 
through here. And I just ran out of lamps. Okay. Do we have glass? We have glass. I need to bust glass as well. How do we make glass again? It is sand from a crusher plus furnace. So that's going to be like... Uh, I guess over here. It's going to come up this way. It's turning into a little bit of spaghetti. Or we could just treat it like any other intermediate product where we're adding it here. Um, how far are we from electric furnaces? Probably too far. Chemical tech card, which needs sulfuric acid, advanced circuit. Okay. Uh, what were we doing again? Well, first of all, let's get this power pole done. Fable NL, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Give to me all the intermediate products. Thank you. Handcrafting is already going so much faster. And... That should be the first of our green circuits. Fully automated. Fantastic. Grab copper cables from the assembler and handcrafting will be better, I suppose. Copper cables are very, very fast to handcraft, though. Half a second for two. Oops. Fantastic. The inserters can't keep up yet, but once we get... Uh... Oh, we can actually get stack inserters already. Let's do that. And that comes with stack in... Uh, that comes with plus one uh, inserter capacity for everything, I think. No, that's the next one. That's also still in the green science. But we also need... Oh, that's number two. Uh, but yeah, we don't need any new science to get plus one stack size on the regular inserters. And that's two thirds of as big as they ever get. Let's go get our spaghetti science in motion again. You'll need glass, silicon, and plastic for add circuits. Yes, indeed. Um... Maybe I should have left more room for rows of smelting. Um, it's going to be a... I mean, the cliffs and stuff are kind of in the way. It's going to be a relatively spaghetti to add those, but it won't be too bad. The stack size bonus alone is worth the research. Absolutely. And... Uh, we're out of red because we're out of iron over here. Um, let's go pick up some more. Do I have any in the car? I do not. That is a sound effect. Um, I don't really care about keeping this mess going right now. Did you change any of the starting settings, like bigger patches or richer patches? I did not. Nothing like that.
All right, so that is, let's see, two automation packs for four iron sticks. So that's one automation pack per iron plate. Uh, but then it needs gears as well. Five iron plates is one automation pack, so 20 per stack. And we need... Well, if we're going to finish this off first, we need like 60. But then... 250, 450... Uh, 5, 600, 7, 800... Uh, about 850... Oh, except it's only one automation pack for five tech cards. Okay. I was going to say, I thought those stacks of iron went further than that earlier. In SpaceX, you want to leave them at default, otherwise you change the entire game balance. Uh, from what I've heard, that's not true, because it only changes... Uh, supposedly, it only changes Nalvis, which is basically just the extended start of the game, right? Um, so if we make everything super rich, it's just going to make things easier to get uh, the early parts of the game done. And it's not going to affect... Um, mining from other planets at all. And it's only the temporary resources that will be affected, right? Eventually you're gonna... well, I guess... I guess if you make them rich enough you won't eventually run out of your temporary mines on Nalvis. I mean, I would think you would sooner or later no matter what you set it to. Um, let's put iron in here. What the? It filled this up so fast I couldn't even... Oh no. Oh no. Uh, there we go. That worked. Nope. Nope. I thought the planet richness values got modified. I don't know. I'm just saying... Uh, that's just what I heard. Hey, Data Gnome. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Space exploration post-processing part of the mod handles the rest of the surfaces. So that's a yes then. The only real big change is if you set biters to peaceful. Uh, this is for all surfaces, but all other settings seem to be Nalvis only. Uh, Dugrax, thank you very much for the Prime sub. Much appreciated. Thank you so much. And welcome, welcome. Dark Rail, good to see you again. Point six playthrough, yes it is, with Kovrex as well. Have you not cut power for your north base? I have indeed. Beep, 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 beep. Okay. Um, I wanted to come back with more iron, make absolutely sure that all of that research is going to get done, or at least the red part of it, back in the spaghetti base. I don't get how people manage to miss flashing icons across the whole screen, uh, because they're checking chat. The railgun is hilarious. The railgun is freaking amazing. Yes. Uh, conversely, well not conversely, but the anti-material rifle is actually incredibly good for how early you can get it. I'm, I was actually really surprised. Not that it was good, but like how soon I was able to acquire it. We've got 384 green data cards here. 
Um, okay, so that's not going to be nearly enough. We need iron here and here, and I think the rest of it is fully automated, except that I'll have to bring the cards to where they need to go. Why don't I just belt it? Now that we've got an abundance of these things. Um, over here. Fantastic. So the only thing we need to remember to do is give it iron. Those is that is that a cat train? That's I mean it's a bunch of cat emotes, but you made a cat train. I approve. I've seen streamers inspect unpowered builds and wonder why they're not working though. Well, it happens. Hasn't happened to me yet, seven thousand hours in. Maybe you just haven't had the right distraction. Uh, okay, what was I coming for? More iron again. Uh, let's make more room in my inventory first. And fill the rest up with iron. And then we can keep the spaghetti science going. Hopefully until we get the plus one stack size. Okay, that seems pretty good. Also, that's a lot of green circuits. I will happily take those. Although, maybe not all of them, so that uh, this thing doesn't slow down. Uh, yeah, that'll probably be fine. Want to put in a few more. Okay. Turrets are still doing their thing. Haven't taken any damage because the biters are still tiny. Uh, we've got 1.9k bullets here. That's going to last a little while. I would say try streaming and you'll see you miss a lot of stuff because you're always slightly distracted by the act of streaming itself. Yeah, it's called Stream of Blindness. Uh, you also get uh, nice bonuses like chat pointing out when you miss a corner like this as well. So it's not all bad. Okay. Let's do some more green circuits because why not? Uh, I guess because I have to go to the trouble of connecting these up now. That's one reason. Fine. And we'll do an underground there. Need some more assemblers. Don't have any resources because I 
Uh, why don't I just put these green circuits in this chest for now? There we go. Stream of blindness, indeed. There's a term for it? Yeah. I forget who mentioned it. I've heard the term at least once. Alright, glass and stone. And then... Get some iron again. The chests are all the way back here, though. Walk, walk. Oh, it's actually getting a bit late. Let's make sure we get that uh, insert a build before the day is done. And I was supposed to make one of these. Uh, we need, what, seven or eight or nine? Well, we only actually need seven of these for the moment to do our insert -a build. Need some long arms. Oh, that handcraft's so quick. Yes, please. Please and thank you. Yellows again. I mean, quick is a relative term. It's good compared to what we've become used to with Crastorio handcrafting. So we got a good eight green circuits per second. And we should now have absolutely everything we need for our inserter build. Cogs, iron plate, uh, single cylinder engines, electric, small electric motors, automation cores, steel, and green circuits. Beautiful. Uh, Red Fan Ben, thank you very much for the Prime sub. Much appreciated. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Thank you very much. Uh, so I think we can put this about here, perhaps, for example. We're not going to bus uh, inserters. We might want to add something to the bus up here, but we can just bring it around from the top if it comes to that. I think I want to add stuff down below instead, if anything. So this is probably fine. Um... Iron gear was supposed to go up here as well. I think. Uh, wait, let's do this real quick. Power. Power. Uh, steel gear wheel. It's different. Okay, cool. Good to know. We could do it down here. Nah. You might want to bus blue inserters. Seriously? Cargo pod. Space manufactory. Stack inserter. Nah. By the time we're building those, we'll be on rail, rail blocks. That's fine. 
All right, so we need some of these. Still got plenty of belts. Getting a little bit low, relatively. Um, that's going to come from somewhere else. Or, yeah, I'm just not going to worry about that part for now. Uh, let's see. So iron gears and iron plate can go here. Although, if I do that, how am I going to get the... Inside of parts out later on. Let's make at least one more tile of space here. This is iron plate and iron gear. Let's copy our... I should probably blueprint this. I keep coming back here to copy it. Iron plate. Plus iron gear. Boop -a doop Can we make some more of this? Fantastic. Probably going to need some more inserters soon. I mean, uh, splitters. Definitely going to need some more undergrounds. In fact, I don't have any. Uh, so I already need them. And this is iron gears. That goes there. Fantastic. Oh, hurry up with the crafting. There we go. How did I end up with an odd number? That's better. And then this goes up here. Uh, insert it goes here. And insert it goes here. Wooden chests should be fine for now. And I'm not actually going to need these just yet. Need some more inserters. How ironic. Go vacuum some gear and gears and motors. Yeah. Can we get the yellow insert is started, so I don't have to handcraft the rest. Let's go. Uh, it just barely doesn't reach. Oh. Let me borrow this. Let me borrow this. Uh, we still need these two. This one's right here, actually. That's kind of uncomfortably close now that I look at it. Maybe I should move the whole thing up a little bit. No. Um, this is probably fine. Do it kind of like this, only different. Or I could have just used one more inserter instead of all of this. Um, and then the other thing is electric motors, which are over here. Small electric motors, that is. Alternatively, since they're right next to each other, uh, maybe this is a bit cramped. Uh, 
I bring this back a tile. This goes here. That seems a bit better. What the? There we go. And bring that down one tile. Bring that down one tile. And there's our inserter parts. Uh, we're still missing... I forgot to bus single cylinder engines up here. Oh no. Oh no. Um... We can salvage this. It, this is fine. Nothing to worry about. I could either underground this. That would look a bit more tacky, I think. Or we could do something like this. Hmm, that's not quite going to work either. How about... Uh-oh. You have dummy belts you can swap for motors? Wait, what? Dummy belts? If I move this up two tiles, uh, it solves all of our problems pretty quickly. It's not like we've filled up a chest or something. can just have a single cylinder engines go through here. That is one off no matter where I put it. Uncool. And single cylinder goes here. Finally got there. Starting base has no need for four belts. Yeah, we're just doing enough of a base to get started. Mad trim. Why only bus with two lanes? Uh, partly because it's easy and partly because this base we're not aiming to go that fast. Instead of splitters, you can use boxes and loader to redirect the flow of materials. Uh, as I understand, the loaders outputting from containers don't necessarily um, give you an even flow. It's working with nope. the splitter, but... Okay, never mind. Well, I think if it, if this is going in slowly, it's not like it preserves the side of the belt or anything. Something like that. Jimmy Huron. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Is that automatic inserters? I believe it is. Give all of me... Give all of me? Give to me all of the inserters, please. Ah, oh, that's nice. And we just need steel, and steel is all the way over here. I don't have that many belts. No. Give me some more of these so I can end craft faster. Not red. Not yet. Thank you, thank you. 
All right, so uh, let's grab our contraption again, this thing. And right about here should be fine. Steel plus uh, green circuits, which are going to be here. Right about there. It actually does feel like an accomplishment with Crestorio 2 just to get inserters fully automated. Oh my goodness. We got there eventually. We even have filter inserters. Where's our green circuits? Here they come. Fantastic. And there's our first purple. I mean, I, I might have handcrafted a purple before, I don't think so. Alright, everything but stackies. PS2 and AEI Industries crazy compared to vanilla? Yeah. Okay. Uh, good timing. That is just barely overtime for the stream for today. Let's give it a save. And let's find someone to raid. Someone playing Factorio, preferably K2, uh, pre preferably SE and maybe K2. We got Diablo doing Crestorio too. Uh, anyone else? Maybe doing SE or both? Not that I can see. Alright, let's drop in on Diablo. I know I'll be leaving you in good hands there. Quality stream as ever. Thanks for sharing. Thanks for dropping by. Yep, true. Thanks for hanging out. There's still a pattern that works for all... Ca oh, that was a replay. Okay. Alright. Uh, thank you all for watching. Do take care. And I'll see you next time. Check out the Discord of the Blueprints if you're interested in that. If you have any questions or anything, by all means. I should definitely limit this taking of yellow inserters so that we always have a stack here. Um, let's cheat some green wire. Why not? This way I don't have to keep it in my inventory. Uh, anything greater than 50. Have a nice one. Thank you. Uh, Leech Leech. Tail and Grandmaster. Evil Plot. Do take care. Thanks for hanging out. And say hello to Diablo for me. Take care, guys. Now that blue one, I'm assuming is on its way. I'm hoping. I'm very much hoping. Um, Tyrannosaurus Hex is raiding with a party of 177 people.